guys welcome once more again to our channel in this particular presentation we are looking at the solution of gc advanced level pure math with statistics paper 3 question 3 gc advanced level pure math statistics paper 3 question 3 guys make sure that you subscribe to this channel to have the best for the best is still to come for 2024 So welcome once more again to the channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, leave your comments, share, and make sure that you make uh, all your friends and all those who are interested in math or having issues to be able to have access to this channel and the materials we provide. This is the only way to motivate us to make more. The more subscribers we have, we assure you that the more content we are going to upload, not just for math, in physics, chemistry, biology, economics, uh, history, geography, and so on. On. You can equally visit our website to have all of this information. Now let's take the third question for the day. So uh, the third question reads, if you have not watched the previous two questions, uh, just click on the links below, you will see questions one and two. So question three reads, three sub one, a certain vaccine is administered to a group of persons. It is observed that 0.1% of all the persons who take the vaccine suffer from a side effect. Using the Poisson distribution, find four decimal places the probability that out of 1,000 persons who take the vaccine, A, none will suffer from the side effect, B, exactly two persons will suffer from the side effect, C, more than two persons will suffer from the side effect. Let us tackle this uh, first part of the question, which is eight marks before looking at the next one. So in this question, what has been given? We have been given uh, the observation that 0.1% of all those who take the vaccine will suffer a side effect. Okay, so let the probability of having the side effects be P. Now we have been told that in a sample of 1000 persons, we talk about 1,000 persons now. So this is actually a binomial in which the parameters are n and p, where n is 1,000 and the probability is 0 0.01. But they don't want us to use the binomial for this problem. They want us to approximate this to the Poisson distribution. And what is one of the conditions to approximate the binomial to Poisson? If the sample size is more than 200, that's 200 or more approximately, then we can approximate the binomial to a Poisson. Now, you can see that the probability is also very low, as you can see, and the sample size is very large. So we can approximate the binomial to the Poisson with parameter lambda, where lambda is equal to NP. Okay, and this is going to give us 1000 times 0 0.001. Know that 1% uh, 0.1% is 0 0.001. So our mean here is lambda, which is one, and our stand, uh, standard deviation is uh, variance equally that. So here, find the probability that none will suffer from the side effect. So this uh, x follows a Poisson with parameter lambda. Okay, so the probability that none will suffer from the side effect is uh, probability of x equals zero. So this will give us uh, one to the power zero on zero factorial times e to the negative uh, lambda, which is negative one. And this will just be equal to 0 0.368, okay? 0 0.368. But they said you should give an answer to four decimal places. So this answer that you have here is not correct because they said to four decimal places. Therefore, I must give my answer to four decimal places. I have given the answer like this because I want to emphasize on that. So you adjust your answer to be to what? Four decimal places. The same thing with the B part. Now the B part, exactly two persons will suffer from the side effect. So exactly two just means probability of X equals two. And that's going to give us one to the power two on two factorial E to the power negative one. Note that the uh, lambda remains the same. And this is going to give us 0 0.735, okay? And this answer is still not correct because it's set to four decimal places. Some of the errors that you have during the exams and they will end up subtracting your marks. So please take note of these errors. We are not going to subtract anybody's mark this year, please. Now see, more than two persons will suffer from the side effects. So probability of X greater than, that's really greater than two, will just be one minus probability of X less than or equal to two. Because they say greater than two. It's going to be means uh, X equals three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to 1,000. We cannot compute that. 
but we know the shortcut that if we know for the first that is zero one or two we can see one minus that probability that's what we are using here so one minus probability of x less than or equal to two so this just be equal to one minus minus probability of x equals zero plus probability of x equals one plus probability of x equals two okay and then we can simplify this or you can read this directly from your tables in these uh, tutorials i'm not using the tables i'm doing direct simplification numerical analysis okay so when you simplify this, you're going to have one to the power zero on zero factorial e to the negative one plus uh, one to the power one on one factorial e to the negative one plus one to the power two on two factorial e to the negative e to the negative what e to the negative one please take note here it's supposed to be negative one not negative two okay so at the end we're going to have one minus zero point uh nine one nine six so final answer will be 0 0.0800 because they said four decimal places so if you did everything correctly here you have scored eight straight clean and clear points i know most of you are watching this video and at the end you will still not subscribe please guys please and please we are begging you on our knees subscribe to this channel because the more subscribers we have the more content we are going to create a lot of time has been put in creating this video and if you cannot equally support us on the other hand then might be there may be no need for us to be creating more videos and that's why you've seen that for the past time we have not really been there because we're looking at the number of subscribers we have and it's been discouraging please make sure that you hit on that subscribe uh, button and also click on notifications if you can't love this channel why not share the video on whatsapp facebook and all other channels please as we watch this video do this it's going to motivate us that's the only way you're going to pay us if you need a complete solution from 2015 to date please click on the whatsapp number below this video or on the link so that we can send it to you and you send whatever payment or token you have to send if you need just the pdf the solutions and whatever contact us and let's talk you can follow our live classes live revision classes with 2024 online on saturdays and sundays on youtube now a question soft to read out of 1000 customers that visit the telephone booth 60 buy credit cards given that the number of customers buying a credit card follows a binomial distribution find the probability that in a randomly selected sample of 10 customers exactly three buy credit cards uh, more than seven buy credit cards so this one is very clear that is a binomial in which the probability of buying a credit card is given as um 0 0.06 right because they said out of 1000 60 by so 60 over 1000 should be uh, 6 over 1 0 0.06 now in a randomly selected sample of 10 now we know the number of customers so this follows a binomial with parameters 10 and 0 0.06 so find the probability that exactly three buy credit cards so the probability will be given by a probability of x equals 3 will be equal to we have a 10 combination 3 uh, 0 0.06 to the power uh, 3 and 0 0.94 that's 1 minus 0 0.06 to the power 7 because the sum of these numbers must give us 10 so this is going to give us when you simplify 0 0.0168 or you could equally use your tables um, now the b part says uh, the e part rather probably is that more than 7 that's probably so either 8 or 9 or 10 right probably so of greater than 7 means either 8 or 9 or 10 by the credit cards so you're going to look for the probability that of x equals 8 plus probability of x equals 9 plus probability of x equals 10. So this gives us uh, 8 combination, 10 combination 8, 0 0.06 to the power 8, 0 0.94 to the power 2, plus uh, 10 combination 9, 0 0.06 to the power 9, 0 0.94 uh, to the power 1, plus 10 combination 10, 0 0.06 to the power 10, uh, that's just all because points uh, 9 4 to the power 0 is the same it's just one so when you simplify all of that you see that the value will be approximately zero okay guys thank you so much for watching and if you have not subscribed again we are still reminding you please subscribe most of our videos cannot be watched as more if you don't subscribe that's why people always complain that we cannot see this video you cannot see that one because we have made some videos in such a way that if you are not subscribed you cannot watch it please subscribe if you need a copy of this paper uh, let us know you can equally source, uh, help us or you can facilitate the work we are doing by giving a donation why not 
click on any of the numbers below or ask on how you can send a donation whatever no matter how small the donation is is going to help it's going to help a lot out there even it's half a dollar one dollar uh, 500 francs 1000 10000 and if you have really enjoyed the work we are doing please you can always donate to support us we really need the donations to create more content help your brothers sisters and friends thank you so much welcome to the gce panel our next question will be question four thank you for watching ciao